welcome uh, to the Lion King red carpet here in Auckland Park. We're expecting celebrities like John Garnett to walk down this red carpet. No, thank God, yeah. <laughs> Just because actually I've, I've spent some time on what label I am, and it's a beautiful song, very iconic um, line, and um, yeah, that's pretty much that's the one. I just. I'm hoping that it starts the way the original started with the sunrise and then you know the whole thing like it just it has to if it doesn't start that way then I just I don't know how I'm gonna feel anything the light touches belongs to you or something that's the only thing I can remember well, that's, yeah there's an ESCOM joke in that no, okay. Sorry. <laughs> honestly Simba has got to be my favorite character honestly um, who are you excited to see Mufasa Mufasa <laughs> so spicy He's fearless. Being involved in the music of this movie is a huge deal for my career and of course the choir that, that, that has, that's done the core parts on it. So I want to hear the final product today to hear how it's come together and I'm really, really looking forward to that. Long live the king. I like the, the tension of the Lion King. I mean, Disney brings it when it comes to that. Like, Disney doesn't hold back. Somebody's gonna die. Somebody's mama, somebody's daddy's gonna die. You know, I mean, the Lion King just brings all of that emotional drama and then takes you up, 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 up to another dizzying height. I'm excited to see how they're gonna do it. It's the circle of life. And it moves us so through despair and hope, through faith and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to watch the rest of the movie, okay? <laughs> uh, to catch the rest of that. From the first movie to the Broadway production, the big challenge was not getting a call, was we now have to take this project to the next level. And the next level fortunately meant a brilliant director who had to now embody the vision of the original movie and the broader production and the casting, exceptional casting and now it allowed us to really go beyond the norm with the music which I'm looking forward to people experiencing and, and, and the reaction to that. When I met the director and I said, he said we're going to play Rafiki I was very happy because Rafiki and I are almost the same age. We're both over 75, we're both elders we both carry the wisdom and the history of not only out the pride, but of the nation as a whole. But there were moments of interaction between uh, Simba, the young, looking for myself, I'm trying to find myself, I'm, I have no identity, I feel like I'm alone in the world. And Simba says, who are you? And Rafiki says, no, the question is, who are you? Right. And in the end of that scene, Rafiki asks again, who are you? And Simba says, I am Simba, son of Mufasa. He's found his beginning. He's found who he is. He's now comfortable and proud to be the son of his father, son of the great heritage of great ancestors and great kings. You guys seem to be just the son, the husband to your wife, father to your children. You do not represent the entire heritage where you come from. And this is what this, for me, story does. It follows from before Mufasa to Mufasa to Simba to Simba's offspring, offspring, which then gives you that you are who you are because what your family is and has prepared you for. Jacaranda FM.